Well, this kind of look cool. Does it look cool or is it dumb with the smoke? <sighs> oh, start the video. My bad, my bad. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, That Chocolate Bee with me, Erin Wells, and you read that title correctly. Let's make she crab soup the vegan way. Let's get started. This soup was inspired by Mr. Make It Happen here on YouTube and Instagram. I love his recipes and I was like, oh, I gotta veganize this. This looks delicious. We're gonna start off by processing up some celery. Uh, we're not gonna use the whole bulk of celery, but I'm gonna go ahead and process up the whole thing because I'm gonna use it for future recipes anyway. Um, you can also use a cheese grater if you do not have a food processor for this, so don't worry. Next, we're going to process up a half a cup of onion. Same thing. You can also use a cheese grater if you don't have a food processor or if you want to do it by hand and really, really mince it, that's on you, okay? All right, let's get into the crab for this recipe. We're using heart of palm. So all I'm going to do is dump this into a bowl and I'm going to shred and cut to get the size that I like. So if you want it smaller, y'all, make it smaller. Like I thought about maybe mincing it up, but I didn't. So here we are with some black pepper and then I'm gonna grab some Tabitha Brown seasoning and put that in as well. If you have regular garlic powder, that's fine. I'll just be using whatever I grab, that makes sense, okay? Next up, we're going to use some Old Bay because we are doing a crab recipe. So Old Bay is definitely in the building. Now we're going to mix that all together and let that sit until we are ready to add it to our soup. We're gonna start off by putting some country crock butter into the pot. I'm not gonna measure this y'all, about four to five tablespoons maybe, but you know, just go with your gut, it's butter. <laughs> She's delicious. All right, let's take that onion that we shredded up earlier and add in a cup along with a half a cup of celery. Also, I did not measure, but I'll say this is about two or three tablespoons of garlic. Y'all know I love garlic, honey, so I went in. Now I'm gonna let that sweat out for about three to five minutes uh, to let the veggies like really release their flavor. Now we're gonna add in the flour to make what? A roux, that's right, <laughs> that's right. You, you got it, you got it. So we're gonna start in our flour uh, in here to make the roux. All right, for this y'all, I was using a third a cup of flour, just kind of slowly mixing it in and make sure all that flour is gone at the end, y'all. You do not wanna taste flour, okay? So I'm just kind of stirring and stirring and thankfully a third a cup did it, but yours might be different. So just watch when the vegetables get nice and chunky and all the flour is cooked out before you add your liquid. Going in with two cups of vegan heavy whipping cream. I'm gonna mix that up together, y'all. Y'all wanna make sure, you should technically use a whisk. Um, y'all know me, I don't know where my whisk is. Anyway, I made the wooden spoon work. Now we're gonna take some Better Than Bouillon, a good hearty tablespoon of their vegetable stock, okay? We're gonna mix that in as well. Y'all see the wrist action? Don't play with me, baby. I was whipping this with a wooden spoon, all right? So make what you have work. We're gonna take some of this Cajun seasoning and shake that in, as well as some kelp granules to give it that seafood taste. Remember, we're going for she crab. Now let's take in some of this roast chicken by Kinders. Um, this is one of my newest additions to the family and I definitely do love it. Y'all see I'm shaking it in a lot. No, this is not chicken soup, but it gives it a great flavor, okay? I'm still I'm still shaking. I didn't even realize I shook this much. Uh, you know, I just, I just had to. Stirring that in really, really good. Get all the flavors incorporated. Now we're gonna add in a full cup of water, just not to break up the flavor, but you don't want it too, too thick. So we're gonna go ahead and do that now. Now that our soup has come to a boil, as you guys see, it is time to add in our sherry wine. Now you can also use cooking sherry, but uh, I decided to use real sherry. I heard that dry sack is that girl. Um, this was about 15 or $16, but let's get into it. It better be delicious, okay? What the makeup girlies do, mm. Can y'all see it? Can you see it? There we go, yes. This ain't gonna pop or nothing, all right? Okay, girl, no, it's not girl, it's not champagne, girl. <laughs> it's not champagne. <laughs> I'm gonna try it first and I'm not gonna wash a cup. You can judge me, I don't, I don't care. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, oh, the back end, oh, oh, okay, let's, Let's cook with it. Um, it is safe for children. Cause he, oh, the aftertaste. Oh, 
but yes I read that it was safe for children once it's cooked in the soup so you're good to go with the children oh it's in my it went down this aftertaste is terrible pan the camera down I'm gonna do a half a cup of this dry sherry mixing that on in before we go on I'm gonna go ahead and taste our soup and see where we are right now we have not added in our lump crab aka heart of palm oh my god oh my god the alcohol has not cooked off yet so I still taste the the alcohol but we right on point with the seasoning y'all and we're not even done we not even done seasoning the soup up. And we ain't even at go back down. Cause we <laughs> it's just gonna get better. Alright. Let's go ahead and add in our seasoned heart of palm, aka our crab meat. Let's also go ahead and add in some W13 sauce. I'm just gonna do some shakes to the ancestors tell me to stop. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, girl. <laughs> gonna add in a little bit of cayenne pepper, not trying to make it spicy, but more so for flavor. One, two, that's it. Let's go ahead and stir this up together. All right, I'm gonna turn this down to low and we're gonna let this uh, kind of simmer and marinate for a good 20 minutes, okay? All right, see y'all later. All right, guys, while our soup simmers, we're gonna go ahead and make a uh, quick, just toast some bread. I'm not doing garlic bread, just toasted bread. If you were on my live this past Sunday, then you already know what kind of bread this is. <laughs> the on sale kind, okay? Period. Y'all, I forgot the bay leaf. I forgot the bay leaves. The soup is done. Um, I'm still gonna throw these in here for tomorrow, but I forgot. I forgot the bay leaf. Hmm. I did. So we're gonna go ahead and put it in there now. Um, that's all right. All right. Ooh. 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 The smell. Ooh. The smell. One, two, and three for tomorrow. That's okay. That's all right. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and serve this up, y'all. Mmm. For plating, I'm just gonna top this with some green onion and then I'm gonna put some red pepper flakes on here. We already know this is busting. Um, let's get into it. Did y'all see it? Y'all saw it, period. Okay, let me get out my uh, butter bread. It ain't garlic bread, I ain't put no garlic. But let me get out my butter bread. Oh, I'm so excited. Let me tell you. Okay, that's better now. I had to get rid of that corner piece. It wasn't picking up like the rest of the bread. Mmm. Okay. Two things. I put too much sherry in there. <laughs> okay. I went back and watched Mr. Make It Happen. He said half a cup, not a full cup. Now, is it not still delicious? Yes. Can I still taste alcohol? Also, yes. Also, yes. I still think it's okay for children. It's piping hot. You, you do the research, I don't have no kids. But I can still taste the sherry. But it is delicious, baby. You see I'm going back in. Ah, we switching back to a spoon. Either way, this got flour in it. So this is not a healthy soup. But still, you know, we don't need double carbs. Mmm. Mmm. Y'all, this is so good. Like I said, it's just OD on the wine. <laughs> but y'all make this. Half a cup of sherry. <laughs> Mmm. Mmm. It's soup season, baby. Mmm. All right, I'm gonna see y'all next time. So I can finish my bowl. Bye. All right, y'all. It is the next day. Like, literally, the soup is still right here in the pot, okay? Period. All right, so let's see uh, what the difference is with the bay leaf being soaked in. Look how thick it got cold. Baby. All right, I'm gonna heat this up. I don't, I don't see myself liking it cold, so let me heat it up, and I'll be right back. Okay, okay, y'all see the difference? Maybe that's that roux. Okay, here we go. We got the bay leaf simmering on in here. I feel like it's a slight difference, but that's sherry. She is still, y'all. Please don't use a whole cup. It didn't mess it up, but that sherry is like, girl, I'm here, girl, and I'm like, girl. <laughs> You were invited. <laughs> you just brought a lot of your friends. Like that's what it feels like. But it's oh, add the bay leaf. I take right behind that sherry. 
This soup, I mean, the soup is delicious, okay? Mmm. It's so warm and comforting. Mmm. Yeah. So add it, don't add it. Just don't add all this sherry. <laughs> but yeah, this is good, y'all. I'm still eating it. I be forgetting. Girl, stop chewing on camp, but I'm letting y'all know. I'm not lying. Mmm. All right, y'all. Make this correctly. I'll see y'all next time. Bye. As always, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe down below, and I'll see you next time. Peace.